hello welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my classroom today as if you didn't already read the title i am going to be setting up my classroom for the 2021 2022 academic school year also let's do a quick little bump date like whoa <laughs> i am currently six months pregnant and I'm going to attempt to set up my entire classroom in one day. So wish me luck, like seriously, wish me luck. So this is going to be a little different than how I usually film these videos. If you have watched any of these videos in the past from me, I typically do one every single year. I will link that entire teacher playlist in the description below. I go all out. When I say all out, I mean all freaking out i am not doing that this year for a couple of reasons this is going to be more of like a lazy teacher transformation so if you are here for like a full-blown transformation this might not be the video for you this is really going to be a very very lazy girl lazy teacher classroom setup reason number one i am six months pregnant and i'm only going to be here until God willing, everything goes well. December 5th is my due date, so I'm assuming like first week of December, but most likely last week of November, again, if all goes well. So I'm only going to be here for a couple of months. I just don't have the time and energy to pour into setting up an entire classroom for an entire year, when I'm only going to be here for like two, three months tops. Not to say that I don't want to set it up for my students, but you guys get what I mean. I'm only going to be here for like two or three months so i'm going to do the most that i can and make it look as nice as i can and make it as cozy and homey and just like you know classroomy as i possibly can but at the end of the day i'm only going to be here for like two or three months and within those two or three months it's september october and november there are so many holidays like labor day we have columbus day we have thanksgiving break and so many different holidays in between so i'm really here for such a short span of time number two I typically will spend like hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of dollars to set up my classroom and I decided that I was not going to do that this year because again I'm only going to be here for such a short span of time but I'm also taking an extended maternity leave and I'm only going to get paid for about two months of it I'm going to go like four or five maybe even six months unpaid depending on how the payroll works in my district so I just don't have the extra funds right now to throw into the classroom I decided instead I'm just going to raid the supply closet and they actually had everything that I pretty much would have purchased otherwise I usually like to get name brand but they have like off name brand some of it is name brand so I'm just going to be using the supply closet and utilizing that the last reason the most important reason why I'm not pouring like hours into my classroom and painting and doing this that and all of that jazz we're actually remodeling our school. We got a grant to like remodel our school. So we have clusters in my school and each cluster is being remodeled at a time. So when that cluster is getting remodeled, they are moving to a different cluster and they're gonna go into a makeshift classroom. I am in the cluster that has the upper classmen because we are third, fourth, and fifth. I am a fifth grade teacher and our cluster is supposed to get remodeled starting January. So as of January, we're gonna be out of this classroom anyways for probably a good three or four months. I won't even be here, but just like whoever is covering my classroom, they're not even gonna be in the classroom anyways. They're gonna to go to like a little makeshift classroom. So those are the reasons why I'm not like pouring my heart and soul into this classroom this year. Also, I am very tired and super, super out of breath. Like I can't even talk right now without having to catch my breath. So. With all that being said, I'm going to give you like a little before and after. It shouldn't take me too, too long, probably a couple of hours, but I do want to show you the before and I want to show you the after. First and foremost, can we talk about the floor? I walked in and I was like, something looks very different in here. They remodeled and redid our entire floor. If you've watched any of my previous Set Up My Classroom videos, we had the dingiest, cracked, moldy, disgusting, just like awful awful tile and they redid it i walked in i was like something's different and one of my friends was like oh do you know what they did the floor and i was like pregnancy brain dude we put two and two together but they redid the floor and we got brand new desks so they're rolly desks that's 
very exciting just all things good right now so let me give you a quick little span of the classroom right now and then i'll just do like a little what's the word i'm looking for like a fast forward like a pan a b-roll type of thing of me setting up different aspects of the classroom hope you guys enjoy this video okay so this is what the classroom looks like immediately upon walking in that is the door to get into our classroom we have our cabinets and our closet this purple just absolutely kills me if i wasn't so pregnant and they were not like remodeling the entire school i hope they're remodeling the school i know that they're doing the roof but we were told that they're going to do like a little something, something in these classrooms because these classrooms are old <laughs> But if they don't, next year my goal is to paint over all of these white or like an off-white, something a little brighter because this purple, it's just so dingy and so dark. And I kind of just think that it like brings you down. I want a color that's like very, very happy. Over here, another purple door. That is the door to our bathroom. Yes, we do have bathrooms in our classroom. And that is the door right over here to our back room. Purple everywhere. <laughs> like what were we thinking when we painted this purple <laughs> i hate it but eventually we will get these all to be nice and bright when i'm not six months pregnant over here we have our little see-through windows over here it's kind of like a mirror but i'll show you over here if you go through our back room where our closet is it's like see-through windows so we can go back here and like kind of spy on the kids we never ever do but it is a see-through window so on their side they only see a mirror and then on our side we can kind of like see through i never use it for that reason because fifth graders are smart and they know that you can see through those but i guess it would benefit the younger grades right over here we have our smart board that is very poorly painted for the backdrop everything is going to be so bright next year i'm really really looking forward to it and we have our dry erase board we have so many different colors in this classroom from yellows to purples to greens back to yellows i'm really looking forward to just painting all of it next year and then we have all of our brand new desks guys i don't know if you're a teacher watching this but this makes me so excited these are rolly desks what they roll that makes me so excited it's like the little things hashtag teacher things <laughs> and then we have in the back all of our bulletin papers so i did these last year if you watched last year's set up the classroom with me i did all of these like white paper so it was just like a very plain background i did cute little borders and then we kind of decorate it and spruce it up with lots of colorful writing when we do like our math board and our reading board science board writing board etc so that is pretty much the entire classroom i get so many comments when i film these on people saying like oh my god your classroom is huge and i'm like i don't know maybe it's just the way that i film it but our classroom is so small if you think about like a typical classroom it's a square i don't know if you can tell just through me filming this but our classrooms are triangles it's like half classrooms and we have typically 26 kids in this room so it is very very clustered very very cluttered and just very like claustrophobic sometimes but i get so many questions and comments and people just saying like oh my god your classroom is so modern it is so huge and i don't know maybe it's just me i've seen so many different classroom videos from other places in the world in the united states and theirs are just so modern and so huge that i'm like what our classroom is like so small <laughs> anyways i rated the supply desk the supply closet i should say they did have some name brand stuff so i usually get them like a 24 pack i usually pour hundreds of dollars into my classroom every single year and i just wasn't doing it this year but they had a lot of stuff so i'm going to give each of the kids a highlighter some crayons some pencils some pens i don't know if i can take all of these i took a bunch of these but they're just markers we have some what are these called post-its post-it nope not post-its note cards note cards and then i got some sharpies for me and the only thing i really did purchase this year were some notebooks i need to get some folders as well i usually set up all the kids with at least one notebook and one folder and they're pretty good with bringing in a bunch of stuff as well okay so that is the before let's start to do the in between and then we'll film the after 
I have little to no plan for how I want to set up this classroom this year. Also, this is a co-teach classroom and my co-teacher from last year got a new job. I don't even know who I'm working with as of now. I start school in a week, haven't met her or him yet, haven't even been introduced, was told they hired somebody. It is just a sub, so it'll be a one-year position. Don't know if it's a guy or girl don't know who it is have no email to contact them just gonna set up the classroom by myself and hope that i get somebody that is excited because they'll probably be taking over a bulk of it when i go on maternity leave i'm supposed to get a sub as well so i'm the special ed teacher there's going to be a regular ed teacher that regular ed teacher is a sub it's a one-year position but then hopefully when i go on maternity leave they also have a special ed teacher if not all these kids are going to be compensatory services it's the whole thing but it's just me today. Don't even know who I'm working with and I start working in a week. Haven't even started planning with this person yet. I started planning but haven't planned a second with this person yet. All right, just wanted to throw that out there for you. So I have no plan for this classroom setup at all. We're just gonna, we're gonna have some fun. I'm just really excited about these rolly tables. Like look at this. They just roll. It's so fun. Look, look ready? One, two. I am very excited. So my first thing is to get the only table that we have in the room in the back. And then I'm just going to do a b-roll of me setting up all these tables probably 18 different times because I'm so indecisive and I have no clue how I want to set them up to make them look the way that I want them to look. Let's do this. Okay, so another exciting thing that I forgot to mention that we got this year, these brand new wobble chairs. These are from Lakeshore, and we got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got 10 of these. They're very, very expensive, and I'm super, super excited that we got so many of them. These are basically like sensory chairs. They're wobble chairs. You just put them down over here. They're kind of low to the ground, man, but you sit like this, and then you can kind of like wobble and fidget as you're working. The students will love them. Am I even in frame? Can you see this? Like the kids will be at their desk and if they're just feeling a little fidgety, we will give them one of these sensory chairs. And as they're working, they can kind of just like wobble a little bit. I actually use these as well. They're like super, super low though. Our other ones were a little taller. I'm not sure if we can make these taller, but we will make it work. They're really awesome. Fifth graders love these. They actually prefer these to the chairs. So I think I'm just going to kind of like Put them in random spaces in the classroom and if they feel like they need to switch them out they can we never had a problem with it last year with kids like not being respectful with them and kind of like joking around with them they pretty much just grab them switch their chair out and then they would wobble as they worked wobble as you work do, 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 do. so i'll probably end up doing that again this year just put them in random spaces and as they feel like they need them they can just grab them they never really had to ask us for permission for that they just grabbed it because they were very very respectful but of course if they're not respectful with them this year we'll come up with like a plan and we'll come up with some like norms and some rules for them but i don't really think we're going to have that issue so i might put some of these that looks way smaller hold on no they're just they're really tiny <laughs> they're like really short maybe these are a little taller like slightly Whatever, we'll make it work. If I can fit in it, they can fit in it. 
Okay, now time to set up the desks, which I feel like is going to be the most frustrating for me because I'm so indecisive and also have such OCD with organizing and setting things up. I'm gonna take you into my friend's classroom quickly and show you how she set hers up because I am getting some inspo from that. I really like the way that she has like a bunch of the groups in the back and then some single tables up here. So I'm possibly gonna mimic something like this. I'm really just coming in here to get a little bit of inspo. She um, set up a bunch of her classroom yesterday. This is my work bestie. So I really like that. I might take some inspo from that. Okay, I have a vision now. I just went into the fifth grade classroom, the other fifth grade classroom, got some inspo from how she set up her classroom, just went into the third grade classroom, which is all set up, got some inspo from her, and then I just went into the fourth grade classroom and checked that one out as well. They are all decorated and set up completely different using the exact same tables slash desks. So kind of have a vision now of how I want mine to look and we're gonna see if I can make that vision come to life. not coming true right now I can't figure out how I want to set this up like at all this is kind of stressful a little bit which others are probably like seriously this is stressing me out but like as a teacher this is stressing me out right now I don't like that tables are facing their backs to the board however my roster right now is only like 23 I believe and we have 26 desks, so I figured even if I set up three of those tables with one with their back, we just won't have anybody sit there. That way they just have a little extra like elbow room instead of taking it out completely. And then if we do get a couple more students come in throughout the year, I can just take those apart and make a new desk. But this is why this classroom drives me crazy, the little triangular classroom. There's only so much that you can do to set up the room. And with just such small spaces, it is really hard. I know I'm sounding like so ungrateful right now, but like this has been my classroom for, this is my 12th year or 13th year teaching. I think this is my 12th year. I think this is my 13th year, whatever, however long it's been. I've been in this classroom for 10 years and it's just always a struggle with such a triangular classroom, not having like a full square classroom, even just to like organize things a little bit better, but I'm not liking it right now and I'm gonna probably redo it like six times. I'm so tired. <laughs> Tell me why a task that should have taken me 10 minutes is now taking me close to, I want to say, 40 minutes. I cannot figure out how I want to set up this classroom at all. I have already organized and reorganized these desks like 
10 times. I didn't film all of it because I don't want to bore you to death. I cannot figure it out. This is my final attempt. I think I'm gonna do four groups of the big like cluster tables and then two solo tables because I know that there are some students that really thrive in a single desk situation. And I also know that there's a lot of kids who thrive just being with their peers. So the good thing about this is I can just move them very, very freely if this doesn't work. After the first week, I can just reorganize it. I also forgot to mention, can you guys see this over here? Can you see this one? Yeah, so right over here, these do lock down. You can press them down like that, and then they will move. I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm still like strategizing how I want to organize this room, but they won't like constantly be moving and the kids can't constantly move them once we like put the lock down. So I think this is gonna be my final attempt. I'm gonna add in the chairs as well. And we're just gonna go from there. Wish me luck, like, that's all I need today. I just need luck because I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like it's not working. Also, I'm sweaty. Just, we're gonna pretend that didn't happen. they can go higher but the chairs cannot and I really wanted to go for more of like a calming presence this year and just have like a lot of matchy matchy the new chairs match the desks the old chairs they're very old they're very uncomfortable and they don't match at all so they are taller and I can eventually use those if I need to if I end up wanting to lift these up a little bit and make them a little taller but my thought process is I am 5'2 I'm very short. However, I teach fifth graders, they're 10 and 11, and most fifth graders are not taller than me. We usually have kids that are shorter than me, and they get like a growth spurt throughout the year. And eventually they are as tall as me, if not just a little bit taller. So if this is working for me, it should work for most of the kids. I kind of like it being a little bit lower. I don't know. I think they would like it a little bit higher. But I'm just rolling with, if I can sit here comfortably, and I'm sitting on the program, and I'm 5'2", the fifth graders should be able to. In reality, if they want them to be taller, I'll have them do some like engineering on the first week of school, and I'll have them lift these up and make them higher, and then we'll just get the old chairs back. Kids love doing that stuff. They love being in charge. So if I end up wanting to lift them up, I'm just going to have the students do it. They'll like have a blast doing it. But as of now, they are a little lower. I'm used to students being a little higher, but the chairs are very comfortable, like much, much more comfortable than our blue chairs. Our old blue chairs and the old ones are just like disintegrating at this point. So I think I'm gonna try to keep this as long as I can, unless kids like really start complaining, then we'll figure out another plan, but I'm liking it. 
snack number one of the day. I have these organic Annie's Cheez-Its. We get these at Whole Foods. These are actually Landon's snacks, but I took a bunch of them to work with me today. If you saw my lunchbox for today, you would think that I am like a five-year-old child attending kindergarten. I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, Cheez-Its, some Goody Girls s'mores cookies, and then a thing of fruit with a couple of bottles of water. So snack number one, going down the hatch, giving me some substance so I can start decorating the desks. I don't want to put anything on the desk this year. A lot of times in the past I'm against putting like tape on a desk but my co-teachers have like taped stuff down and then it's sticky and it's hard to get off. I want nothing taped to these desks so I'm just going to very casually put their pencils down, markers, crayons, highlighters, all the essential things and then we'll have them hang their backpacks off of the back of their chair for like their storage because we don't have a lot of room for storage in this classroom anymore. desk is going to fit in that little corner. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you might remember that it used to have a really, really beautiful Disney themed office. And inside of that Disney themed office, I had this really gorgeous white Ikea desk. It has since been living in our garage because we have since turned my Disney themed office for rest in peace. One of my favorite rooms in the entire house. We have turned it into Landon's playroom which has now become my new favorite room in the entire house. So I decided to take that desk into my classroom so I can start utilizing it. Adam is going to bring it in next week hopefully and I'm just trying to see if it will fit in that corner. I also have my white little swivel chair that I'm going to bring in and I think I want to kind of like keep my desk over there so it's not as like cluttered. I have another little desk next to the smart board. It's just a really tiny one that I have the Elmo on and my computer so I can use it while I'm using the smart board but I don't want to take up too much space in the front of the classroom so I think I'm going to keep it in this little corner over here. Also, I just moved the computer cart out into the cluster. That computer cart is for fifth grade. There are two fifth grade classrooms in this school. And what we have done in years past is one of the classrooms would host 
the computer cart and we would switch like every single quarter it just gets very very hectic because every single child's computer is in there so it's fine for my classroom because they're just getting up and getting their computers but then we're constantly having kids from the other classroom come in and it's kind of a distraction also vice versa when the other fifth grade classroom has a computer car in their room my class is constantly going in there and it's just a little bit of a distraction so we decided that we're just going to host it in the cluster now it also opens it up because that thing is a monster of a machine so i'm glad to get that out glad we are keeping it in the cluster and i can kind of like use this little area for my teacher space now so my desk will be for me to do like my grading and my special ed paperwork and you know all the teacher things but i also pull students because the desk is like a pretty good size i also pull students over there to do interventions and things of that nature this is my first time booting up my computer since I left in June for summer break. I don't even remember my password. We're going to try this out right now and hope that I remember it. it says I'm logging on. We'll see if I get the incorrect password message. What I want to do right now is go on to either Pinterest or Teachers Pay Teachers and look for some labels for my bulletin boards. I just want very like simple bulletin board labels. I love Teachers Pay Teachers. Whether I am purchasing it or they have a bunch of stuff on there for free, they have a lot more for free on there than you would imagine. Usually what I would do is put into the search engine what I am looking for and then I go to price ascending and it usually will give you all of the free options first. If I like some of the free options, I go with the free options. Yes, it worked. If I don't, I will usually pay for them because I'd rather support a teacher than just like another corporation or corporate type of thing online. It's working. I'm so excited. All right, so I'm going to go into Teachers Pay Teachers and just look for like little bulletin board titles. So I want one for science, for reading, for math, for writing, and then eventually I'm going to put up like all of my standards and my objectives and my language objectives and content objectives. I'm not going to bore you with that one. I probably won't do that until next week. Next week we have an entire week of PD, and within the PD we get like an hour or two here and there to come into my classroom and just like get things ready whether it's lunchtime or break time I plan on coming into my classroom and hopefully <laughs> my new co-teacher will be there and I kind of want to do that with her because I don't want to like set everything up without her or maybe him I'm not even sure who it is at this point without their input so I want to see how they want to set up the bulletin boards and like do all the standards because the district that I work in they are so strict with your objectives being posted like Every single day, your objective has to change, your language objective, content objective. You have to have like what you're doing for the day. You have to have it in child-friendly language. So I definitely want to figure out how my co-teacher and I want to do that together so it's not like one person taking over. All right, I'm on Teachers Pay Teachers. I'm going to start looking for some bulletin board titles. Bulletin, ooh, bulletin board letters right there. Back to school bulletin boards. Here we go. These are really, really cute. I like these. Super, super simple. Very, very simple. Let me show you. Scratch that idea. I just filmed all of how cute these little letters and numbers are up to the camera using my computer, but I forgot that the name of my district is kind of like plastered all over this computer, so definitely not going to be using that clip. I'm just going to print them out. Hopefully our printer is connected. Not sure, I haven't used the printer in so long, but if I'm able to print them out, I will share with you what they look like. And then I will figure out like how many different letters I need and how many different times I need to print out separate pages so I can get science, reading, writing, focus wall, creativity wall, math, like, you know, the whole nine yards. Unfortunately, it is not working. The computer will not connect with the printer. I'm pretty sure I am doing everything right, but I will just have to hold off on this little project until next week 
when the techie person is here. Right now we are out of school hours. School doesn't technically start until next week when we go into PDs. So the tech person is not here and I am not <laughs> the person you would call on for tech issues at all. I don't freaking understand why this is not working, but I will just email myself this link because I definitely want to use these letters. I'll also link it in the description below if you guys are interested in checking it out. It is free, super basic. I just like the way that the letters look. They're nice and bold and bright, but also kind of like minimal. So that will have to be a project for next week, unfortunately. My son is at daycare right now and I was hoping to bang out as much as I possibly could while he was at daycare. But alas, this one is just not going to work. In the meantime, peanut butter jelly time. I forgot how delicious a classic peanut butter and jelly sandwich is. I haven't had one of these in so long. We make one for Landon almost every single day for daycare they can't have peanut butter so he has to do sun butter it's not even cute so i mean you can see it here it is but it's not even cute i ended up making one the other day with peanut butter i don't like sun butter and i was like whoa <laughs> this is so so good so i have a couple more things that i need to do before i get out of here but i'm going to enjoy my elementary school lunch right now of pb and j it's so good. Don't sleep on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They're really good. Don't ask me how I got this to work, but I got it to work. Here are the letters, a huge little stack. Very basic, some of them are polka dotty, some of them are striped, some of them have little diagonal lines and zigzags. They're just really cute. So what I need to do now, I'm gonna go sit down, I'm gonna write out M-A-T-H-S-C-I-E-N-C-E-R-E-A-D-I-N-G-W-R-I-T-I-N-G -E -E -I 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 to see how many letters I need of each to write out all of the kind of like bulletin board titles. And then I'll just make copies of those specific pages so I know exactly how much I need. Does that make sense? Like I'm gonna write it down and I'm gonna say, I need six I's, I need seven A's. And then I will print out this page X amount of times to correlate with what I need for my bulletin boards. I'm so excited that I got this to work. I don't know how I got it to work, but I got it to work. Like. my chicken scratch but this is what I'm working with. I need shockingly the most W's.
on my last leg now. All I have to do is clean off the countertops and then I think I'll be pretty much done for the day. There's still a lot more that needs to be done, but again, I will be here for the bulk of next week, if not every single day next week for our week of PD. We're gonna have so much time in between to get things like situated in our classroom and set up. And I wanna try to do that with my co-teacher, meet him or her and just like get to know them and then try to figure out a plan for the year, share my plans that I already have ruined in my head and then try to get something that is like collective for the both of us. So the last thing that I'm going to do is really just clean off the top of here, but I wanted to share with you guys something, especially if you are here for my Disney content. I never shared this before. I actually kind of forgot that I even had it, but last year one of my students went thrift shopping and they found this wonderful world of Disney trivia game and got it for me and it has just been living here. I'm gonna take it home tonight. Does anybody else remember this? I used to have this as a kid and I used to love this game it is so like vintagey it's probably from like the 90s so i know it's not like vintagey but it's just so nostalgic for me that is the word that i should have used because i used to have this exact same game when i was a kid so i'm so so grateful for that i want to like open it up quickly and see if there are like some trivia questions that i can oh my god that i can kind of like test myself look how cute i completely forgot that i had this here i should have taken it home this summer do you guys remember this you've had this you had like the little game piece and then the little mickey heads and every time you'll get one right you put it on there and you're supposed to make like the rainbow so happy about this i'm taking it home today so here are the trivia questions i'm gonna probably embarrass myself right now because i'm gonna probably get them all wrong love disney but i feel like I am so bad at Disney trivia, but this is so fun. This is the perfect way to like end the video. So let's just pick out, are they all pictures? I don't know. Let's see. All right, question. In the animated feature, The Adventures of Ichabob and Mr. Toad, definitely never watched that one. In Aladdin, what song does the genie sing while explaining the wishes to Aladdin? You've got a friend in me friend like me excuse me okay so just wanted to share this with you i'm taking this home tonight and i'm gonna have like a little game night with adam while we're having dinner tonight i love this so so much so let me get back to clearing all of that off i'm gonna put this with all of my stuff to go home tonight it just like really brought a lot of joy to my heart right now and i wanted to share it with you guys All sorts of magical finds right now. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I usually read this when we have independent reading time. I like to read while the kids are reading so they see like the teacher is reading as well. I just think that's really important. So it looks like I got all the way to chapter chapter 10 halloween how fitting my absolute favorite holiday and i was reading this for the umpteenth time while my students were reading their books towards the end of the year this is the book of choice for me yeah, yeah. harry potter all day every day And that is all she wrote. I have been here for just about five hours. I am really, really happy with the progress. I still need to, of course, put like all the books out and the objectives and all like the little odds and end trinket type of things. But I have all of next week to do that. I'm thinking it's gonna take me about another five to seven hours collectively to finish everything up. I need my safe space. We do conscious discipline in the school. If you guys are unfamiliar with that, you can just do a quick little Google search. So every single classroom has to have a safe space. There's so much that go into it. I could do an entire video, but I will just leave it with, I need to get a safe space. So I'm gonna get like a little rug or a little yoga mat, some stuffed animals, some things to do for this little safe space. I'll show you it right now as I do the pan of the classroom. But I'm thinking that I'm pretty, pretty impressed with how it all turned out today for a five hour period of 
decorating and organizing and setting up. So let's get into a quick little pan of the classroom. You saw the before, here's the after. Let's start right over here. I'm gonna get rid of the recycling bin as well as the garbage can and find a different little space for that because right over here is going to be our safe space. If you guys wanna look up conscious discipline, you can like learn a lot more about it, but my school is very adamant that we are all doing conscious discipline and SEL, social emotional learning. So this will be my little safe space. Right over here, I'm so out of breath, <laughs> is the door to enter the classroom. And in that little corner over there is going to be my little teacher area where I'm going to put my Ikea desk. I get so many requests when I film this video to show the bathroom. So I am gonna show you the bathroom right now. I don't think I've ever really shown it in one of these videos before. It's nothing special to look at, but we have a toilet, we have a garbage can, we don't have a sink, the sink is outside. I mean, this is the bathroom. <laughs> It works, it does its job. Right over here, moving along, we have all of the desks set up that I probably will still change eight or nine more times, but we have a couple of single desks and the rest are all in groups, groups of six, although I won't have somebody at the very end as long as my roster allows for that. On each of the desks, I have a bunch of school supplies. I still need to get a folder for each one of the children and then whatever they bring in. And I'm also looking into getting some funding from the school to have something hang from their chairs for them to put all their books, supplies, all the things that they need. Over here, I have my bookshelves for all of our reading books. We have a ton of reading books. We do the ARC program. It is the American Reading Collaborative program, I think it is what it's called. So. I'll have all of the books for that on these shelves over here along with other places in the classroom because it is a very, a very, a very hefty book heavy program, which is great. Over here I have my little bulletin boards, which I love with the letters. I'm so happy I was able to get the printer to work. Our wall wall. Over here we have just a little meeting area. I put this cute little cactus over there just to bring a little something extra but this is where kids can kind of like work together on projects take a little break whatever it may be over there i have another little wall that i will fill up with supplies kids can use those to put some of their supplies and they'll also have more of the books so let me give you a little span of what it looks like from this angle over here i think it looks really nice i'm really really happy I have my little wobble chairs that are so small, but we will make them work. And then right over there is gonna be another small little desk, like yay big, where I'll put my Elmo and my computer so I can connect it to the smart board. Then I also have like a little love chair that we're bringing in. I'm not quite sure where we're gonna put that. Of course, it's not gonna focus now. <laughs> the entire video you focused, there we go. Nope, maybe not. Go. had to shut my camera down and restart it but that is my smart board and then I think right in this corner over here where all these little wobble chairs are I'm gonna take three of them out and then put our white little cushiony love seat so the kids can sit there if they want a little break from desks so that's it guys thank you guys so so much for watching I again will link my teacher playlist in the description below if you guys are interested in checking out any of my other decorating classroom videos or any of my teacher related content. But thank you so, so much for watching. If you are a teacher watching this or a student, I wish you the very best of luck going back into this new year. I feel like collectively last year was everybody's worst year of their career or worst year of school. And I just, I have faith that this year is going to be a lot better. So I wish you all the very best of luck if you are starting up, if you are a teacher or a student, and if you are just somebody watching because you like these types of videos, thank you so, so much for your support. I love you forever and always. And I look forward to talking to you all soon. Bye friends. Treating myself to a little sweet cookie for a job well done. PSA, if you have not tried the Goody Girls S'mores cookies, run, don't walk. The best cookies I've ever had. I get these at Whole Foods. They're sensational.